so today topic is blood pressure measurement so here blood pressure uh, is the indicator of status of cardiovascular system so based on the bp blood pressure only you will be indicating the current status of your uh, functionality of your cardiovascular system that is heart okay the measurement of a person's blood pressure is recorded as two different numbers one is systolic pressure and another one is diastolic pressure that is based on the contraction and expansion of the heart okay so based on that you will be getting systolic pressure diastolic okay so blood pressure is usually measured in two method that is direct method and then indirect method that is invasive and non invasive so if the readings are too high that means uh, if you are a bp uh, pressure that is blood pressure level is high then it will be uh, represented as hypertension okay hypertension that will be indicated as hypertension if the blood pressure readings are too low okay that will be uh, meaning to uh, insufficient of blood flow in the uh, human organs okay like uh, brain heart etc then you will be getting the low pressure low blood pressure will be uh, uh, shown only uh, due to the insufficient blood flow in the human organs like brain and heart okay so if you if your uh, blood pressure level is too high then it is represented as hypertension okay high bp then systolic pressure so systolic pressure uh, i think you will be noted that uh, in your pressure level you, they will be noting a two range that is 70 bar 120 mg lena 70 80 lena 120 110 mg like that they will be uh, writing okay so in the 70 mg the diastolic in the 120 110 and the range like the systolic pressure okay so both will be indicated or noted so the pressure exerted by your blood flowing through your arteries is not at all constant value okay so the pressure value will be varying uh, in the blood flow okay in the heart vessels heart blood vessels but it is dynamic that is changing and constantly reflects what the heart is doing at a given moment so at the moment what the functionality of heart is reflected by the blood flow in the arteries of heart okay so when the heart is actively beating uh, systole that is systole actively beating means nothing but systole it is ejecting blood out into the arteries so beating uh, if you get the systolic pressure when you are having the contraction of muscles heart muscles okay contraction means uh, the blood is moving outside okay out, out to the out of the arteries okay that will be called as contraction Okay, so during contraction of the muscles, hot muscles, you will be getting the systolic pressure. Ide patina diastolic pressure is achieved during the blood filled in the hot muscles, okay, arteries. It is expansion of heart. See, a diastolic pressure range will be 70 mmg, 80 mmg. In this range only you will be getting. Uh, this pressure is due to the blood within the arteries. That is uh, expansion. During expansion means the blood will be filled in the arteries. Okay. So at that time you will be get some pressure. That value is indicated as a diastolic pressure. Okay. So after the heart is finished contracting, the cardiac ventricles relax momentarily uh, so that they can be refilled with the blood in preparation for the next contraction. Okay. So contraction, expansion. Contraction, expansion. So these two will be uh, uh simultaneous or uh, sorry alternatively they will be uh achieved okay the pressure diastolic pressure and systolic pressure will be measured so this period of ventricular relaxation is said to be diastole so blood pressure measurement in indirect method so indirect method we are going to use the uh, spigma spigmo manometer so, spigmo manometer is used for measuring the blood pressure, okay, indirectly. So, here, uh, spigmo manometer, 
uh, is an uh, inflatable rubber blader which will be called as cuff okay see this is this is pigmo manometer inflating cuff it is the inflating cuff this part is inflating cuff um and then a rubber squeeze ball pump and valve assembly this is squeeze ball with the pump valve assembly okay this is stethoscope this is brachial artery this is your arm okay in the hand only you will be measuring the bp value by wearing the belt around the hand okay so uh, automatically it may be pumping or manually you can pump it okay so both are available a manometer okay so the pressure value will be noted like this so this is systolic this is diastolic upper one is systolic lower one is diastolic okay these are the blood pressure waveform sometimes doctor may check the uh, through the stethoscope okay so procedure for measurement of blood pressure are given here first point is the cuff is wrapped around the patient arm upper arm that is the uh, point midway between the elbow and uh, shoulder the stethoscope is placed over a brachial artery distal that is uh, below the uh, elbow okay it will be placed second point the cuff is inflated so that the cuff pressure becomes slightly greater than the anticipated systolic pressure so when you are pressing that uh, uh, ball squeeze ball okay the pressure will be increased slightly greater than your systolic pressure so this pressure will compress the artery against the underlying bone this will be causing occlusion okay which will be stopping the blood flow in the blood vessels third point the cuff is then slowly deflated so first inflated now it is deflated okay so that the cuff pressure will be drops down while inflating the cuff you will be getting the higher pressure while deflating the cuff you will be getting the low pressure okay so when the cuff pressure drops low lower than the systolic pressure the blood flow will be rushed Okay, uh, rust in the artery. So this will be ca causing crashing and snapping sound. That will be called as Karatkov sound, which will be heard through the stethoscope. So when the cuff pressure drops slightly below the diastolic pressure, these sounds will be disappeared. so the pressure indicated in the manometer on the onset of this karatkov uh, sound in the systolic pressure the pressure indicated by the manometer on the disappearance of this sound is the diastolic pressure so while you are uh, doing the inflation of a cuff you will be hearing the karatkov sound okay that means you are increasing the blood pressure value higher than your systolic pressure but uh, uh, when you are uh, uh, deflating the puff what will be uh, what will be happen the so sound will be disappear okay that means the pressure value the given pressure value will be uh, lowering the systolic pressure okay so the pressure indicated by the manometer and the disappearance of this sound will be called as diastolic pressure so the onset of karatkov uh, sound in the stethoscope indicates the systolic pressure so the disappearance of this sound in the stethoscope indicates the diastolic pressure
So this is indirect method. By using spigmo manometer, you will be measuring the which will which is applied in the uh, every hospital nowadays. But another one method is direct method. Here you will be measuring the accurate blood pressure using this method. Uh, if you want to know blood pressure in deep region, indirect method will not be useful. Okay, there you will be using the direct method. So this is the direct method uh, of uh, blood pressure. So pressure monitor, transducer, stop clock. Okay. So here you are going to measure the blood pressure in the heart, heart blood vessels. So probe will be used for measuring the direct blood pressure measurement. Catheter. Here probe will be used for direct blood pressure measurement. So catheter tip. Uh, catheter tip will be used uh, for measuring the heart muscles uh, biosignal. Okay. So which will be placed in the probe sensor. Okay. Uh, so here the pressure exerted on the tip will be converted into corresponding electrical signal. Because there uh, catheter tip is nothing but used for measuring the biosignal only. The, so using biosignal you will be converting the uh, corresponding electrical signal by using uh, transducer. Transducer is nothing but your electrodes. Okay. So in fluid filled catheter type, pressure exerted on the fluid filled column is transmitted to external transducer. Here the transducer helps to convert the pressure into electrical signal. Okay. So here the fluid filled with the cat filled catheter is used for measuring the biosignal or a pressure uh, before inserting the catheter into blood vessel fluid filled system should be completely flushed out okay so before using that you have to flush out all the things usually sterile saline will be used for this purpose okay so using the sterile you are going to sterilize the material okay that's all because that clotting will be avoided due to that So working of blood pressure measurement, that is blood taken from the vessel using catheter trip probe, so which will be exerting the pressure, okay. So the blood taken from the probe will be uh, used for uh, exerting the pressure, which will be transmitted to the transducer, that transducer which will be holding the electrode will convert the pressure into corresponding uh, electrical signal, okay. So, uh, electrical signal, there uh, in the transducer, a uh, type of uh, uh, transducer used is triangle gauge pressure transducer, okay. Because uh, this will be uh, measuring the electrical signal corresponding to a change in pressure value, okay. This is the circuit of transducer, that is triangle gauge pressure transducer, amplifier, Diastolic indicator, systolic indicator. Okay. So two indicators will be used. That is one is called systole and diastole. Okay. If the output of the amplifier is positive going pulse, then D3 will be on. So if you getting uh, amplifier output as high, then D3 diode will be on. Okay. That is systolic indicator. Diode will be on. 
clamping circuit is available that is C1 and D1 used to develop voltage equal to peak to peak value of the pressure pulse. So clamping pulse D1 C1 okay in here D3 C3 is another clamping circuit two clamping circuit so diastolic and systolic indicator have individual clamping circuits. So the voltage which will be uh, appearing in the R1 resistance will be giving you uh, your uh, systolic and diastolic pressure. Okay. So the C1, D1 will give the um, diastolic pressure. Are they simultaneously D3 and C3 clamping circuit will give the systolic indicator through you through the R3 resistor value okay the voltage across the R3 resistor value will be read out by this meter this this is nothing but your systolic pressure so the, this clamping circuit voltage will be available in the resistance R1 so this will be uh, displayed in the meter M2 this is nothing but diastolic pressure okay That's, that is given here. Next we go for blood cell counter. So the blood cells have important functions in our body. So I think uh, you all know what is blood cell. What are the blood cells? What are the types of blood cells present in your blood? Uh, red blood red blood cell rbc wbc platelets okay these are the types of blood cells present in your blood so red rbc red blood uh, cell is used for transporting the oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout your body through the blood okay your blood is used for carrying the oxygen and carbon dioxide so white blood cells are parts of the body defense against infection and foreign substance so if anything infection affected by the uh, body uh, then uh, wbc will helps to protect your body cells okay by uh, providing the uh, defense that is uh, by providing the immunity power to the body body cells so next platelet platelets are used for clotting of your blood okay so if you uh, have blood flow okay then your platelets will help to clot the blood okay then only will the blood flow will be stopped due to the presence of platelets in the blood only the blood clotting occurs unless the blood flow will be unstopped okay if the presence of platelet is low then you cannot stop the blood flow okay Then red blood cells in the blood consist of hemoglobin. Because of the hemoglobin only you are uh, acquiring oxygen. Okay. Oxygen uh, in the blood. That's why you are checking HB level in the blood always. So because of that only you are every uh, organs, human organs, uh, parts are running properly. Okay. Because of hemoglobin presence in the red blood cell. So the blood cell counter count the number of RBC or WBC per unit of volume blood. So blood cell counter is nothing but WBC count, RBC count, platelets count. These three counts are very very important for uh, keeping your organs uh, work uh, that is uh, uh, properly working or not. That is checked only through the blood cells counting. So working principle. So as long as the orifice is uh, left open, there is a zero resistance conductivity between the electrodes via the solution. Uh, as long as there is a zero resistance conductivity, the output of the conductivity circuit will be zero. The suction pump draws the diluted blood in the beaker along with the blood cells into the glass tube through the orifice. So this is nothing but how you are taking the blood in the vessels, okay, uh, for uh, measuring the blood cell count, okay.
okay here you are going to use suction pump to draw the uh, blood from the human body uh, which will be stored in a beaker okay along with a glass tube so the blood cell counter uh, uses two method for measuring it that is coulter counter uh, dark cell counter microscope first coulter method is based on the principle that blood cells have a much lower electrical conductivity than the solution in which they are suspended okay so the blood cells will be having lower electrical conductivity when they are uh, suspended in the solution okay this is the coulter method so it contains in the coulter coulter method you will be having a beaker with the filled with the diluted blood okay uh, into which closed glass tube with a small orifice is placed like this okay you are going to take a beaker with the blood diluted blood so you are going to keep a glass tube with the orifice so the conductance between the solution in the glass tube and the solution in the beaker so blood with the diluted in the solution simply blood we are not taking in the beaker we are going to dilute the blood in the solution okay in the beaker then uh, in the glass tube also you will be having one solution okay so both the material will have different solutions so this solution is going to be measured using two electrodes okay so this conductance is mainly determined by the diameter of the orifice in which current density reaches its maximum value so the conduction between the electrode will be uh, indicated by the current density okay which is available in the orifice of glass tube so the glass tube is connected to a suction pump through a u tube filled with the mercury this is u tube filled with the mercury this is mercury okay orifice and then along with that the same glass tube is u u shaped glass tube is filled with the mercury the negative pressure generated by the pump causes a flow of the solution from the beaker through the orifice into the glass tube so the negative pressure going to be applied through the pump so that what happens the beaker solution will be flowing through the orifice to the glass tube okay so you are going to have a pressure okay so that the solution which is in the beaker will be moved to the glass tube through the orifice so each time a blood cell is swept through the orifice it temporarily blocks part of the electrical current path and causes a drop in the conductance measured between the electrode so due to that the conductance will be dropped out okay so that means it will, it will block the uh, conductance so the result is a pulse at the output of the conductance meter the amplitude of which is proportional to the volume of the cell so you will be getting the uh, pulse output due to the uh, conductance block in the uh, orifice so uh, so that you will be getting corresponding uh, output in the conductance meter that is nothing but it is proportional to your uh, cell volume okay cell volume in the diluted blood so a threshold circuit lets only those pulses pass that exceed a certain amplitude so the pulses that pass this circuit are fed to a pulse counter through a pulse gate the gate opens when the mercury column reaches a first contact and closes when it reaches the second contact so the gate will be opened okay based on your amplitude value of the pulse okay thus counting the number of cells containing in a vo given volume of the solution passing through the orifice so based on that you will be counting the volume of solution as well as your blood cell count each time a blood cell is swept through the orifice it temporarily blocks adhe da varama irukku 
ஓ நான் மேல அழுத்திட்டேனா சாரி ஸோ அட்வான்டேஜஸ் எ கவுண்ட் இஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் இன் லெஸ் தென் டுவெண்ட்டி செகண்ட் வித் கவுண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அப் டு ஒன் லேக் த ரிசல்ட் இஸ் ஸ்டாட்டிஸ்டிகலி அக்யூரேட் நெக்ஸ்ட் மெத்தட் இஸ் டார்க் ஃபீல்டு மைக்ரோஸ்கோப் மெத்தட் ஹியர் யூ வில் பி யூசிங் மைக்ரோஸ்கோப் ஃபார் மெசரிங் த பிளட் கவுண்ட் த டைல்யூட்டட் பிளட் ஃப்ளோ த்ரூ எ தின் கியூயர் ஸோ த கியூவெட் இஸ் எலிமினேட்டட் பை எ கோன் சேஃப்ட் லைட் பீம் அப்டைன்ட் ஃப்ரம் எ லேம்ப் த்ரூ எ ரிங் அப்பர்ச்சுவர் அண்ட் அண்ட் ஆப்டிக்கல் சிஸ்டம் த கியூவெட் இஸ் இமேஜ்ட் ஆன் த கேத்தோட் ஆஃப் எ ஃபோட்டோ டியூப் பை மீன்ஸ் ஆஃப் எ லென்ஸ் அண்ட் அண்ட் அப்பர்ச்சுவர் normally no light will be reaching the photo tube until a blood cell passes through the cuvette and reflects a flash of light on the photo tube so this is your cuvette so you'll be having lens here so due to the uh, blood flow the uh, uh, blood uh, cells presence okay uh, it will be reflecting back so if there is no light uh, that means uh, it, uh, there is no presence of blood cells in the cuvette okay if you have your blood flow in the cuvette then uh, light will be passed from the lamp okay uh, so uh, the image will be um, appeared uh, after reflecting back from the lens so based on that you will be measuring the blood count okay so this is your cuvet so if there is a blood flow presence okay the uh, blood flow presence means uh, the cells which is present in the blood will reflect the light okay unless uh, there is uh, no uh, blood cells presence it will not be the light will not be reflected here so based on that you will be measuring the blood cell count in a ore ore topic the respiration rate measurement that's all